Balar Magalis, and welcome guys to another Game of Thrones Wolf and the Crows interview special. Guys, this week, right? Oh, before I continue, um, what should everybody do? Everyone should uh, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, what else? And uh, ring that bell. Also, guys, check out our uh, new tiers that have been restructured on the Patreon channel for all the new benefits that you can get for your dollar. Yeah, for your dollar. For your dollar. For you get for your dollar. Yeah. Some quality Wolf and the Crew shit right there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, we have an uh, interview, guys, here for you with none other than Mr. Kieran Belshaw. Absolutely fucking um, charming guy. We went on a con of thrones. Over in Nashville over last in, year. Over in Nashville yeah. last year. Fucking happy. Lo fans were all over him. Yeah. We're loving it. Extremely decent human being. Like. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah. So very, very well spoken as well. Oh, I by time. So, like. Unlike Pablo's interview last week, you may be able to actually understand more of what Kieran's saying than what Pablo said. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, we have as well. Um, we're going to be looking at that in our next video is actually the concept art and Kieran obviously a contributor to that so Some we're going to be proper cool stuff in that like. oh my we're going to be looking through that there it's going to be great um fucking because there's ah uh, there's some fantastic shit on it I mean half of the stuff it's great a book really like posters of the stuff yeah as well that would be really good do you know what I mean you know they, they do Robert Ball's beautiful death series and you can buy those mm -hmm. Uh, posters would be really good to get some of them in poster. poster format yeah. you know what I mean yeah so um, yeah fucking only one thing really to do hey and that's to fucking check out the interview oh yeah Valar Magulis and welcome guys to another Game of Thrones interview special today on the channel I have the wonderfully talented Mr. Kieran Belshaw, concept artist from Game of Thrones season five to season eight. Kieran, yeah, 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 you yeah. worked on the show. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so guys, Kieran's going to be answering your questions that you posted on YouTube. All right, so we're going to get under the nitty gritty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a con concept artist does on the show and its vital importance in the process of making Game of Thrones awesome. So, Kieran, let's just start off by saying, how are you, man? I'm, I'm very well, thank you. Thanks awesome. thank for having me. Yeah. Uh, absolutely no yeah. problem, man. I mean, like, um, it's our aim on the channel to talk to absolutely every aspect of production, you know, and, you know, get them to tell everyone how the show was made you know what yeah. i mean because as i'm sure you're aware it's a very unique television program you know what i mean like obviously uh, a tv show shot with movie quality you know everything's so big and stuff like that so Absolutely. um yeah it's yeah, great yeah. That you're doing it it's great that you're doing it Oh, it's, it's, it's brilliant, man. It's a way to keep the dream alive as well. Yeah. I am not ready to leave Westeros, so we're going yeah. to do this until oh, yeah. Miguel gets House of the Dragon on the go <laughs> and we all dye our hair silver and start yeah. raving dragons. You know yeah. what I mean? You'll be there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> um, let me see. So, question number one, man, is basically um, mm. a question that we always ask, um, and that is, how did you find yourself working on game of thrones how did you end up working on the show as a concept artist yeah it's a good question um well basically uh, the, the short answer is I, I i emailed the production designer deb riley and um around the time when i knew they were going to be sort of gearing up on season five and um and she got back to me that uh, she liked my portfolio but um at the time they didn't need a concept artist but then a couple of weeks later, I got a phone call and they asked if I was available, and um, and it went on from there basically. Uh, I, I did season five uh, from home in London um, for over several months, and then they liked my work so much that they brought me in the next year on season six over, over to Belfast, and mm -hmm. and it was and you know, the rest is history basically. Um, you know, it went on from there. Yeah. Awesome, man. Did you, did you spend a lot of time in Belfast? Yeah, quite a bit. I mean, uh, season six, I was there for eight months, and then uh, season seven, I was there for six months, and final season, I was there for about nine months. So, uh, yeah. in total, quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, 
Yeah. Brilliant, man. I think I was on your Instagram and seen some, I think it was your Instagram, some behind the scenes of you actually working yeah. around the studio and stuff like that, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. the Iron Throne and stuff like this. So brilliant. Yeah. Um, so uh, let me see. This first question is from one of our um, uh, core YouTube mm -hmm. members. Yeah. Um, were you a fan of Game of Thrones before you started working on it? Yeah, I was I was a massive fan of the TV show. Um, I ha I hadn't read the books, but uh -huh. um, but it's a funny one because I remember before season one came out, um, I was living and working in New York at the time, and I saw the posters on the subway of uh, Sean Bean sitting on the throne, uh -huh. and I thought it looked really cool and interesting. And I, I grew up watching a show called Shark, which Sean Bean was in. Uh, you, yeah, you watched it too. Ray has done it. Ray has done it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, growing up with that, I was a massive fan of Sean Bean. I thought, well, this looks really interesting, and I like what HBO do because I knew that you know they produce really good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, I wanted to check it out, and um, yeah, and I love, I loved it from the word go. You know, like uh, I fell in love with it straight away, and uh, and like over uh, as the seasons came out, I was like, oh my god, I really want to work on this because this is mm -hmm. this is something special, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, and I found a way in, and um, but uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, definitely big big fan of the show. Mm -hmm. And I, I started reading the books. I'm, I'm sort of almost finished the first one. But mm -hmm. it's funny, whilst I was working on it, I didn't really have the time to, to read them because, uh, you, know, the, you know, the work was quite intense. And, but, um, but now I have a bit more time and uh, I, th I thought it would be good to sort of work my way through them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, the books, the, the, it'll, they'll take you a while to get through, even the most experienced yeah. reader, because they're that fucking thick. Yeah. The one they're thing that I love about George R. R. Martin's books yeah. is that they're that thick, you could literally kill a man with it, which is perfect. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's That's a Game of Thrones outfield. book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. And whenever you're done with that, I highly recommend The Hedge Knight, which is set like 90 years before the first book. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, a very easy read that one cool. um but that's brilliant man because you know whenever you're saying there that you were passionate about the show so you just went ahead and emailed deborah to see you know um yeah. work as a concept artist and that's to me what it's all about i mean like i was so passionate about the show before i joined mm -hmm. and my passion just took me to to where i ended up do you know yeah. what i mean yeah, so absolutely. yeah it's not that i i didn't have to try my passion just did it <laughs> do you know what yeah. i mean so yeah, was, yeah yeah i can relate to that um it was it was a similar similar thing for me in a way because yeah be, yeah being mm -hmm. a fan of it helped inspire me with my work and uh yeah it was just so it, it was a joy to work on wasn't it it was a joy to work on uh, yeah, yeah absolutely brilliant yeah because you had all like the world's best people just coming together to make this thing, and they're uh, the world's best in their field, you mm. know. And then all the extras were fans, I know that. Mm. And you know, many of the assistant directors were major fans, like Dara Glynn and Jared Duffy. Them boys were crazy about the show. Yeah, so, yeah. like, to have all these passionate people working on it, it's just that's why it ended up so good, yeah. you know. It was fantastic. Yeah. It's true, it's but, true. Sort of mm. helps change the show, yeah. You've done work on uh, most recently Terminator Dark Fate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So some work con on that, yeah. Concept yeah. art for that, man. Brilliant. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Allied with Brad Pitt as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. I worked on that too, yeah. World yeah. War Two Fulham. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to fucking check that out, man. I've I had actually never heard of it, so I'm gonna have to go and yeah. check that out. Big World That's War Two, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. The most impressive to me, because I was raised reading 2000 AD, you designed peach trees, the building. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, well, that with that, I was working in visual effects, uh, you know, which is before I made the move into pre-production with art department work. So it was kind of, uh -huh. I, I sort of helped with some of the design of like the, the rooftop and stuff and that, you know, with the shots okay. and everything. But, um, but I was working as part of the team that sort of do, doing all the all the visual effects work and the, the map painting on on the dread film so uh, I, I work, yeah that that was that was a lot of fun you know because uh, yeah because I, I was a fan of dread growing up so um yeah, yeah. 
and yeah. the, the films, but I, I just wish Netflix would actually pick up. Yeah. Yeah. We just talk about them making it into a TV show and brilliant. And the most important thing for me, yeah. never took his fucking helmet off. Brilliant. Not exactly. like the Slack yeah. Alone version, man. I don't know what was going on there. And of course, yeah. uh, Lena Headey plays Mama in it yeah. as well. Cersei Lannister brilliant. out yeah. there as well. Oh, what a show. Yeah. I might actually go and watch it tonight, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I might watch it tonight now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, episode of Thrones, Dread, Episode of Thrones. That's what I'm going to do. So this is from Richard James, a, a channel regular. Um, which piece of concept art from Game of Thrones are you most proud slash pleased with from mm. idea to finished piece? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, mm. I mean, I suppose it's, uh, it's one of the ones I, I talked about a bit in Nashville uh that I'm, I'm really chuffed with is, is the one of daenerys standing on the steps looking out over over the army giving her big grand speech of victory in in, in the in the red keep um because yep. it's it, it was a big long process of working on that one uh with with deb and with david and dan and miguel was involved as well and 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 the producers and uh, jonathan freeman who was the dop on on the last episode um and I, I, well, I knew I knew whilst I was working on it that it was, it was such a big key scene, and I, I knew it was I kind of knew it was some of my best work. You know, when I was working, yeah. I kind of had this feeling, you know, like you know, and it was, I just I, I was really chuffed with how it turned out, and 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 they seemed really happy with it. So yeah, yeah, oh, man. Well, yeah. Gee, just looking at that image, um, mm. whether you're looking at it in its concept art form or from the show, uh, just it just speaks power. And that's exactly yeah. what what was needed there. It's oh, just yeah, yeah. and of course then bolstered by Amelia's performance. Oh yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Um yeah. that was one of the greatest pieces of acting I've seen her do in, in Game of Thrones. Oh totally. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. And it was um it was it was nice, um it was nice to see her, her filming some of that on the on the on the set as well, which is cool and yeah, you know, I mean um so it, it was all, it was all, it all kind of came together really nicely. It was, yeah, I was really chuffed. Sure. Yeah, that must be a surreal thing to to mm. first create the concept art and then be in the middle of it. You know, yeah, the default this now. Oh, totally. And yeah, see your yeah. picture coming to life. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, totally. Every, every time it's a very odd, surreal experience when you walk on a set and it's something mm. that you know so well from all the. All the images you've produced, and then and then yeah, you walk on the set and walk around it, and and it's like, wow, this is they, they actually did it exactly to what I imagined it to be like, and um, and then you see yeah, like you say, you see the actors there, you see people in costume, and and you know, and it's uh -huh. you know you got the smoky atmosphere and everything, so it just totally comes to life, and yeah, it's incredible, and well, you, you know what it's like on set, you know, it's just such a wonderful, awesome thing to see, yeah. Really yeah, man. Cool. It's just, yeah. just the, there was one one strange thing that always used to happen to me was, mm. it was always the actors helped me just drop in because of course you've got green screen and like guys just stand behind the camera drinking lattes and mm. cameras and equipment and you just gotta get whenever action is shouted, I think it's the atmosphere that the 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 um actors create and the props in the set department create. Yeah just makes all of that disappear yeah. when I was actually in the middle of a take and yeah. I was in Westeros like you know that was the you're, you're in that world yeah yeah man yeah, yeah. Like, um, never yeah, want to leave <laughs> so yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just the best the best experience ever it, it is the best and uh and and I, I think what I really like about Game of Thrones compared to other things I've worked on is they 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 really went to a lot of effort to make as as much in camera as possible mm -hmm. rather than you know lots of blue screen or green screen or whatever you yeah. know, but there's so yeah, there's so much set like with winterfell you know i mean there's so much of it there talk of that actually opening up as a um visitors attraction as well so yeah there's talk of that that they're actually opening up the set of winterfell and king's landing so we're just waiting on more word about that you know but i'll yeah. work that will work there till i am gray yeah. gray man you know what i mean so yeah hbo don't know it yet but i'm coming i'm just yeah. going to turn up and talk about game of thrones until they start paying me. 
know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Either that or they shall have some fit security guards because I can run. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> you see, then we're down here. We've got one coming in from as well, Ben Thomas. Mm-hmm. Ben Thomas, uh, YouTube regular. He writes, um, obviously, you work with other departments. Can you tell us which ones and how you work with each to com- to complete what we see on screen? Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, it's an interesting one because I mean, you, you know, you know, the scale of the show is so big um, with the departments. I mean, the, just the art department itself covers so many areas. Uh, you know, with with the construction and you know all, all the guys that build the sets and everything. But outside of that, I, I would say um, the, the the department we. I, I'd work with most with what I do would be visual effects, uh, you know, because it's so what we do impacts what VFX do a lot. Um, mm-hmm. So something like so with something like the Red Keep Steps, um, a lot of it I would model in in 3D on on the computer, and then I you know w- when it was sort of approved by you know uh, Dave and Dan and everyone, um, I w- I would of- often hand over my models to the VFX guys and, and they would use those and work on top of those and, and, and sort of, you know, build, build the, the final versions from there. So, so that's partially why you, what you see in the show with, with the extended bits um, looks a lot like my concepts because they, you, you know, they used a lot of the 3D that I created. Yeah. Um, so, so it was a really nice, especially on the final season, it was a really nice process working with them back and forth to get get the look sort of right because it because it, it, it was a sort of collaborative process between all, all the departments but I mean you know but we'd work you know we'd work a bit with the stunt guys you know because like on the the red keep tower with the clee game bowl um, they need to you know they need to make sure that the steps were the right size and scale mm-hmm. and the depth and everything to give the actors room and the stunt guys room for the fight and to be able to go up and down the steps but you know partially for health and safety, but partially just uh, so that it would work on camera, you know, and they could choreograph it correctly, you know. Um, mm. uh, you know, and, um, and you, yeah, you've got the special effects guys as well, you know, you know, working with the art department, things like King's Landing when it's burning, you know, it was a collaborative process of figuring out the, the phases of what it would look like when it's complete and then when it starts burning and then when it's more destroyed and, you know, mm. and and you you know you you would have been there and seen those different phases, but you know when they were shooting it. So um, so that was all. Yeah, it, it it would be constant meetings between the art department and these and these other departments, sort of uh, figuring it out all these different bits, really. Um, mm. But 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 yeah, I mean, v, but from my point of view, it felt like VFX was like the main one um, because we'd always be handing over stuff to them. And uh, and it was and it was kind of crucial because we'd be developing the look of the show and then and they'd have have to be sort of everything they did would have to tie in with that. So so mm. yeah, yeah. VFX department. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes total, yeah. makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but obviously you know you got the the shooting crew as well. You know uh, you know you, you got uh, like Jonathan Freeman who I mentioned. Uh, you know I worked a lot with him. Um, like developing like the the, the destroyed throne room uh, yes. and how, how that would look uh, you know he you know he was closely involved with what uh, me and Deb w- were doing sort of developing the look of that and we also had like a VR setup and we had two guys um, with you know VR headsets and the, and they had a sort of 3d model of the throne room and Jonathan w- would go in there and sort of work out his camera angles and you know so did it yeah, so that was quite a cool way of working. It was something new that Deb was trying on the final season. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, we, and we had Winterfell as well. We had a we had a model of Winterfell that they'd look at, uh, and 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 we had uh, the King's Landing Street. Yeah. So you know, so Miguel would some would go go in there a bit as well and sort of figure out how how it would look before we built it. You know, and how how we would shoot it. So. It was uh, quite, that, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I've that never heard of that on a. Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, they do it a bit. Something on, that's really they, new to the industry. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty new, especially in TV. I mean, uh, I think they used it a bit on Star Wars. On uh, they used it on uh, Rogue One, uh, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. But but it's still it's still quite a new thing that's just sort of being tried out. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Look at 
I'd, I'd love to have a go at that. That would be, yeah, that would yeah, be brilliant. You know what I mean? Like, like a computer game. And, um, but it's, got, again, a little bit like when you go on set, it's kind of weird sort of going in there and seeing, oh, this is what, you know, this is what the, the throne room is going to look like when it's destroyed. And mm. so you kind of wander around a bit. And, yeah, so that, that, that was, yeah, that was quite fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, class. Brilliant. Yeah. Here, um, this is basically, I wanted to ask this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there any material, like favorite book, TV show, movie sequel, or video game, don't know if you're a gamer, um, you would like to do the concept art for? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a very good question. And, um, I don't, um, one thing I'd love to work on, they've already shot the first film, uh, is, uh, June. I'd love to, I'd love to work on that. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, man. Because it's, kind of, be... it's kind of like Game of Thrones, but sci-fi in a way, isn't it? Because it's got a lot mm-hmm. of that sort of political intrigue, but in, this, in, a, in a more sci-fi kind of universe. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that would be, that would be a lot of fun to work on. Um, and in terms of computer games, um, I don't know if you've played it, uh, The Last of Us. Oh, I am, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome game. And uh, I love the visuals of that. I love the environments. Uh, Naughty Dog, the company that, that make it, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think they're one of the best companies out there. And, and yeah. it's, 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 it's like a film. It's like a film. And that's something I'd, I'd love to work on if I could, you know, one day, if, if they do a third game. Because I think the second one's coming out this year. But, um, yeah. But yeah, something yeah. like that would, would be cool. Yeah. But, uh, but you know. Yeah. I'd say, I'd say, you know, Game of Thrones is up there, you know, kind of, you know, already, yeah. you know, <laughs> already done the best job, really, you know, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how do you, you know, how do you improve on that? You know? Yeah, but oh, man, you could end up in fucking, exactly, <laughs> well, you could end up working on House of the Dragon, you know what I mean, I'm bloody sick of drawing these dragons, yeah. do you know what I mean, <laughs> do you know what I mean, because there's going to be fucking loads of them yeah. in that. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. Let me see, is five. And then let me see what up here. Oh yes, again, this is one that we ask everyone. Um, who's your favorite character from Game of Thrones, and what's your favorite mm-hmm. scene? Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a difficult one because you know, there's so many good ones to choose from. I mean, um, I, I well, actually, I would say if 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 we're talking early early seasons, I'd say probably Tyrion because he's you know he's, you know he was, he was so you know he had some great great dialogue, uh-huh. but. Um, but as the show went on, I sort of felt like, in a way, it, it became the show. In many ways, a lot of it is is about Daenerys. It's, uh-huh. it's, it's the tragedy of her story arc, um, and it's all you know. It's, it's kind of Shakespearean, um, the way her character sort of you know, you know, w- w- with everything that happens at the end. So in many ways, I'd say sort of by by the end, like she's my favorite character just because of the complexity of her her story within within the within the main story. But um, okay. yeah, and uh, in terms of favorite scene, um, I loved that scene with uh, Brienne getting knighted. I thought that was I thought that was beautiful and uh, amazing, amazing bit of dialogue and acting mm-hmm. and, uh, mm-hmm. with the build up, knowing that the you know the, this big battle was on on the brink of happening. You know they're all sitting there in Winterfell. You know it's, uh, that was an amazing moment. Yeah, I thought I thought it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with that scene, especially mm. Gwendolyn, in that scene, the emotion just seems to pour out of the screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Especially from her, she's you know she's obviously being knighted, so it's really important to her. And um, Nikolai's brilliant too, but just because it's her being finally knighted, the mm. emotion just pulsates off the screen. It's absolutely fantastic. I, lo- yep. I absolutely yeah. love that. Absolutely. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was an amazing, amazing bit of film, and uh, and I, I love that song as well that um, Pod sings. Uh, Jenny yeah, of Yeah, yeah. Man. it's fantastic. Gorgeous. I actually, yeah. I actually got up and sang that at Connor Thrones at the very start of the panel. Hey, oh yeah, <laughs> for a bit of crack, and then I watched the video back. Yeah, and Jesus, it just ah. Uh, it sounds like somebody washing a car with stones. Honestly, it's terrible. Oh man! Oh, I'll never do that again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> never, <laughs> never. You're so in the moment, though. You know. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah. I got a big clap anyway, but like, yeah, well, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, 
It's an amazing yeah. song. It's an amazing song. Yeah, Absolutely definitely. brilliant. Don't blame me. Don't blame me for wanting to belt it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's uh, there's so many different versions of that song, and mm. the thing about it is, uh, Daniel does it the best. Mm. He really does. This, yeah. this, the version from the show is is the best. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I do believe Daniel is Welsh. Yeah. Aye, so like you know what Welsh singers are like, man. You know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So it really yeah. tells and him as well. So brilliant. Yeah. Um, this question here as well. Um, favorite thing about working on Game of Thrones? Favorite thing. Um, I mean, I mean, maybe we've probably talked about it a little bit already in terms of like uh, being fans of the show before working on it. It's sort of like it's your. You, you know, you're living your dream, where you know, just by mm-hmm. work. And and I guess certainly from my point of view, that being a concept artist, having having the privilege, I guess, of uh, of getting to design, you know, the sets, the the environments that you're gonna that were that were seen on screen, you know, um, that was such such an amazing opportunity, such, such an amazing thing to get to do. And then, and then, like, like like we were saying earlier, when you actually get to walk onto the set and see it in person, and you know, it's uh, it, it doesn't get much better than that, really. And uh, you know, so oh, that, yeah, yeah, Brilliant. yeah. And it, you know, out of all all out of all the projects I've worked on, it's easily the best job I've ever had. You know, like you know, and, uh, you know, really really loved it. You know, and uh, you know, and, and really miss it now. Really, you know, like. Um, yeah. Oh, of course, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Major withdrawal and all. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, definitely. I yeah. usually sit at home with a big tub of Hagen Dazs watching the Battle of the Bar. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are the days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, definitely, like, well, I think the first time I watched, yeah, I mean, uh, well, yeah, with, with this final scene in particular, when it was the, the long night episode and the, and the final two, it was, it was pretty emotional watching it. You know, like, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you must have found that too, right? I mean, um, yeah, it's like, because uh, we're, we're all so involved, weren't we? You know, and our hearts were in it. So when, when it actually finally came out and to see it, it was just like, it was such a powerful, moving thing. You know? mm. Yeah. I remember saying on set that mm. uh, Game of Thrones doesn't really end until I see the end credits on the, the last episode. Yeah. So it's just whenever... John, who's my favorite character, goes riding out beyond the wall. I'm just like, he's free. Yeah. He's <laughs> finally free. And then credits. Yeah. And then I'm like, ah, oh, no, it's fucking over. Do you know uh, what I mean? Well, um, but just season one, episode one. Go back to the beginning. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's multi-layered. You forget stuff. So that's the well. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. 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 No, that's that, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. That's that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, just the the final question. Then, going to ask you, um, what does the future hold for Mister Kieran Belsha? What you're going to be working on next? Anything that you can tell us? Obviously, the movie. Um, the yeah, it's a, it's a difficult one to answer because uh, I'm, I'm working on something at the moment. It's quite a big film, um, but I can't I can't say what it is. No I'm problem. Sure. But uh, but it's quite you know it's it's, it's a fairly major franchise and um and it's quite yeah it's quite good fun um in terms of the future i don't know um i'm gonna see i'm gonna see where it leads i mean i mean you know i like 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 we're just sort of saying i kind of since game of thrones i have been feeling a bit kind of bit kind of lost in terms of like not quite knowing where, where, where am i going with my career you know like where you know where do i go after that so um yeah uh, yeah, at the moment I'm just seeing where fate takes me and uh, see see how it goes. But um, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, everyone here, the Wolf for the Cruise wishes you the best of luck, man, in the future. Hopefully, uh, we might run into you on yeah. set in the future. Yeah, you know yeah, exactly. You know, and you know, right. I'd like to pop over to Belfast and you know, and when, when the visitor center sort of um, well, you know, the Game of Thrones. Studio uh, tour, yeah. yeah, yeah, studio tour. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd like to check that out when it opens. Yeah, oh, de- yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Like, you know what I mean. Um, well, it'll be good to see you there. That go would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Go, for, yeah. go for a drink, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. From several, several. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what we like to do as well is for all of our guests who come on, we always like to offer you the Wolf of the Crow sticker, which you can you can put that anywhere that you like, man. Yeah. Okay, well, thank absolutely anywhere. Thank you. Um, yeah. So we'll send that over to you, all right, as a as a thank you for coming yeah. on to the channel. Right. Um, Karen, it has been absolutely fantastic to talk to you today. So um, there's only real one thing left to do, and that is to sign out. Guys, if you like this video, which obviously you fucking did, please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Ring that bell as usual, okay, and let more people... Um, hear about what it was like to work as a concept artist on game of thrones and kieran contributed to this fucking monster yeah. of a book as well deborah Rayleigh's uh yeah. the art of game of thrones okay so kieran yeah. will have some um of his concept art as well keeping under the tradition of being able to kill a man with a fucking book the, yeah. Yeah. the size of it it's yeah. a lot yeah. Yeah. Gigantic. yeah so they're, they're absolutely fantastic coffee table books yeah so guys really, yeah. yeah pick one up okay and and fucking definitely for your coffee table absolutely brilliant okay so kieran guy man once again thank you so much for joining us thank you, um, thank you. Yeah. no problem pleasure and honor um so guys like share and subscribe stay tuned for more exclusive interviews um all about how game of thrones was made so there's only thing one thing left to say and that is, thank you, Kieran. And of course, Valar the Hyrus, the North remembers. <laughs> well, the thing about it is, is that it's always great whenever you interview somebody who is good to interview. Yeah. And Kieran was good to interview. He was. Do you know what I mean? He was very concise and um, yeah. Yeah, extremely well-worded coherent answers brilliant yeah yeah and guys your questions were fantastic um yeah thank you very much for sending them in guys yeah. kieran kieran uh messaged me and he's he, on uh, instagram and he says he's uh, whenever i had sent them the questions initially yeah. and he said these are great fantastic yeah. i'm looking forward to it and stuff like that there like so guys we, we love answering our questions for you yes um it's always good to involve you guys too in the interview process sure of course Interaction, interactivity. Where else would you get it? <sighs> huh? <sighs> Nowhere. That's Nowhere. where. That's why um, I come to the Wolf and the Crows. Yes, by team. Um, I love the, I think the fact that Kieran worked on um, Dread as well. Yeah. And stuff like that. That's class. You know what I mean? Because, you, you know, you always like... Um, Especially because, you know, I interviewed Tom Plester as well, and then you interviewed Cairn. And through, like, you know, you have to research them as well. Yeah. Um, find out about a background about them and other projects I've done. And then you just go, holy shit, he would have worked on that. <laughs> you know, fucking hell, man. This cat was cool. This cat got a whole lot cooler. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So brilliant. I really enjoyed this interview. It was class. It was good to see. You could tell that he was a fan of the show as well. Yeah. You know, he, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed the show before he started working on it, and mm -hmm. again, like a lot of people involved in it, mm -hmm. it was it was a big deal to them to get involved with something they enjoyed beforehand. Passion project, yeah, and then it comes out in the work, yeah, mm -hmm. very yeah. much so. So, uh, an absolute delight to have Kieran on. Um, so, guys, you're going to have to wait and see. You're going to have coming up next on our interviews, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Actually, coming up on our next interview mm. is going to be mm. uh, Jamie. Oh, shit. James Miles, the... Uh, Military advisor yeah. from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Is he for definite? He's for definite, yeah. When's he coming? Uh, he is coming in to see us in the studio is on he? the 11th of February, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get that clip. <laughs> Battle of the Bastards, the making of, uh, of Miguel going, I thought the extras were going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> because of Jamie. It's our military commander, guys. He's going to be coming in. He um, did all the um, military um, you know, training for extras, 
how you know we we had to fucking move. I whenever we had to move, we had to fucking move. We've got a multi million pound production on the go here. Yeah. So like every second cost. Uh, yeah. Cost money. Yeah. He was fucking insanely tough, but a fucking gentleman. Yeah. At the same yeah. time, you see that's the key there, being a fucking, you know. And, and just an, an absolute bastard, but everybody loves him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and that there is a skill. Yeah. That's a skill. You know what I mean? Cause he was very good at what he did. To mix those two, either you, you know you want to be loved, so you make everybody like you, <laughs> or um, you know, uh, you know, you're fucking. But he's me. He's mixed the two together. Yeah. A complete bastard, but everybody loves him. He knows how to get you to do exactly what you gotta do. Yeah. So yeah. tune in, fuck, guys, that'll be really good. Yeah. Any questions that you might have for uh, Jimmy, guys, stick them down in the comments below. We'll be collecting them up over the next uh, two weeks. Mm hmm. Brilliant. Nice one. Guys, as well, um, maybe you know someone that's an artist or something like that there, or interested in concept art and things like that there. And maybe it would, maybe it would be really good if they hear, heard what Kieran had to say about working on Game yeah. of Thrones. Worst biggest TV show as a concept artist. So share it to them. Yeah. Fucking. Get it shared. Wash. Share that shit over. And of course, you can buy the book, The Art of Game of Thrones, uh, um, through our Amazon shop. Uh huh. Details uh, again below. In the description below, guys. Oh, yes. So, um, great interview. I, uh, one of Very those good interviews, you know, where you come off after and you feel good. Because, you know, you had a rapport with a person, uh, the questions were good, the answers were even better. So, yeah, really love doing that Excellent. one. And a big thanks to Kieran as well for uh, joining us. So and, fantastic. of course, the uh, the uncut footage, the full mm -hmm. file of that is available over on our Patreon site. So, again, head over there and you can check that out. Ooh, that's good. Now, um, well... Really, Bobby, would you say in that? Yeah. Nonia really is, really, like, I don't know, like, yeah, there's only one thing to do. Just the one? And that is, of course, to sign out of the video. Hey, Bobby. For the watch. Ha ha! The North remembers.